Hello Abraza Award Primary Parents, it's Sister Sego, and today's parent instructional video is about the song A Child's Prayer. I felt like it would be especially useful to sing this song this week as we're studying the story of Enos in Come Follow Me. So I have four ideas for you. The first idea says scarves. Now this is a good time to remind you of how important it is for a child's learning to include movement while we are singing. So that's why I like the idea of scarves. This song has a very uh, peaceful, fluid kind of feel to it. It's not a big marching beat kind of song, which is why scarves lend themselves so well. Now, I have a whole bunch of scarves because we use these in primary. And as you will see in the sing-along video, I use my scarf. You will also see that I tell the children they don't have to just use a scarf. You can use anything you have at home. You could use a washcloth, a kitchen towel, any hand towel in your house, even just a, a piece of fabric, a pillowcase, anything like this will work. And all you do is sing the song, making motions with scarves. You can use the sing-along video that I already recorded with the motions I used, or you can make up your own, of course. So that's a really fun way to sing a child's prayer is using the scarves. The second that I am so excited about is called a singing foam. I went out to my garage and made a singing foam. It's just a piece of PVC with two elbows connected to it. So I just dug through my, my leftovers and, and made this. What's so cool about this is the children can actually hear their voice come back up into the singing phone. And this is just a really nice way, first of all, to visually teach the idea of prayer like a telephone and give that analogy and teach that concept to the children using this object. And also, while they sing the song, it's really fun to sing it, hearing their own voice coming back through to their ear. And you could also have a really nice discussion with this about the questions that are in the song, A Child's Prayer and the questions that they might like to ask Heavenly Father. What kind of a question would they like to ask in a prayer to him in their phone? What kind of questions might Enos have asked and things he might have wondered about to Heavenly Father? So this would be a really nice way not only to sing the song because it's fun, also just to really have a good discussion about prayer and, and how it connects to a telephone. The third one is, um, I'm calling it story time. How I would do this is I would tell a personal story that's really special to me about a time when I prayed and Heavenly Father heard me and answered my prayers. Then I would sing the song, A Child's Prayer, maybe with the scarves or however you would like. And then I would go back and tell the story of Enos, telling, saying, excuse me, his prayer. So I would incorporate prayer stories into uh, the song and, and use it like that. And the final idea is called matching game. Now this is someone else's idea that I found online. If you Google um, a child's prayer matching game, it will come right up. I'll also, of course, include the link in the comment section of this uh, YouTube video. But here's how this would work. So I'm gonna take this down. And I'm actually going to have my son, Breton, show you. Now I will tell you, if you use the one from Google, you will find that there are two blue cards and two green cards. And I, let me just move this forward here. I chose to make them different. I happen to know where one match is by, because there's, there's actually multiple colors of green. I made these with just a blue squiggly. So this one is a match. That's how you would know. So how you play the game is you'd sing the song and you'll see Breton do this. And while you're singing the song, have the children or your family looking for a match. When they find a match, like we just found, lay it on the floor. And then the next person who finds a match decides if their match goes before or after the song in order. I won't be able to do all that. And in fact, I wouldn't put this on a board at all. I would have the memory game on the floor too. But I'm going to um, have Breton come up and show you how he would do this while we sing the song.
and we would continue in that manner until we had all of the matches put together and the whole first verse laid out on the floor. So those are just some ideas, thank you, Breton, that I had that might make it fun to incorporate the song A Child's Prayer into your Sunday meetings this week. All right, as always, please give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks so much.